Let's take a look at the full-time highlights. And it was precision, pretty on. Priestley to Reed. Not a lot of good defending you can spot there. But Priestley did well to pick out his marker. And Reed, not necessarily known for his heading, got his first goal in the Jamaica Premier League via the route. Stewart firing that one straight to Romario Palma, who didn't do a whole lot in this game. And then the mistake. And uh, Bradford converting, getting, getting his sixth goal of the campaign. Shaquille Bradford. And uh, not the best back pass at all. And uh, putting his custodian in a whole lot of trouble. And Bradford getting his goal. And then some good work by Anglin, moving nicely inside the box. We've seen that on a couple of occasions today. Almost added a third there. But this is when the third goal would come. That was a wonderful first touch, you know, to, to kill it right at his foot. Had to stretch for it a, a bit. And then bang, the left-footed drive into the goal. Second of the evening for David Reed. His teammates loved it. There could have been more. Priestley again. And Williams with the hand on it onto the crossbar. And then Talbot. Oh, it, it wasn't supposed to have been a clearance. And here is Reed again. Playing that one inside. And Anklin was running on to the end of that one. Could have been more. Bradford threw on goal. You'd bet your house on him. Williams again with the outstretched leg. And here is Bradford again. This time giving Fagan a little bit of action. Look at the save. That's magnificent. You know, full stretch to his left. Jaheim Williams with a strong hand. And putting that on around the post. And then the opportunity for Bradford again. Headed it down and onto the bar. Innovative, but not quite successful. Yeah. It was too easy for Harbourview. Let's take a look at the statistics here. The Harbourview had 18 shots. Half of them were on target. Lime Hall pretty much four from four. 11 fouls committed by each team. And uh, Harbourview had more corner kicks, seven to five. And uh, Harbourview with the majority of the possession as well at 55%. David, your first two goals of the season. Uh, first two goals in the Jamaica Premier League. How does that feel? I mean, it feels wonderful. It's good that I can contribute towards our first win of the season. We'll definitely be on this. Playing schoolboy football last year, now playing in the Jamaica Premier League. How, how different is that for you? How big is the occasion? I mean, the Jamaica Premier League is a, is a bit faster, so it takes a little bit time to, to adjust and adapt, so yeah, it's a thing to work on. Of course, when you were playing for Glenmuir, you would have been used to starting all the time. A lot of the time this season, you've come off the bench, now getting your first start. How does it feel coming off of the bench, and how did it feel the fact that you were actually starting today? Give I me mean, both scenarios. I mean, it's a good opportunity to start. It's good that I make use of the opportunity. It's not my first start also. But coming off the bench also gave some good performances. So, yeah, I think that that's why the coach rewarded me at the start. Also playing in your usual wide area, how much are you enjoying playing out there rather than more in the centre of the field? I mean, it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. All right, all the best, David. Continue to score more goals, and we look forward to improved performances from you as the season goes on. Thank you. David Reed there, man of the match for Harbourview. And Vanny Clark comes into picture now. Vanny, talk to me about this performance. Uh, probably not your favourite of the three. No, absolutely not. I thought that we, we got out of the blocks really, really slow. Um, we didn't get going at all in that first half, and it didn't help that you can see that after two minutes, and then, you know, quickly thereafter, you're down 2 nil. you're always going to be behind the eight ball, and so thought that we didn't handle ourselves well in the first half. Second half, 
was about um, limiting the damage and um, you know trying to get some positives from it. Other than the second half, the intensity was a lot better. Uh, substitutions really helped, and um, you know we, we really managed that period a lot better than we did. But of course, you know you are already down three nil, so it's it it doesn't help. It doesn't do much. But um, you know we'll take the positives. Organisation was something at the start of the game that we spoke about was one of the strong aspects of Limehouse's performances so far this season. But today it seemed very disorganised, even in the back line at times, the communication lacking. Yes, um, you know we are we are without one of our one of our key centre halves, and and that really hampered us. Um, you know we, we're very short in that in that respect, and so it was putting a midfielder to play there. You know it was really a little bit all over the place. And so for us, it's it's about you know getting getting our ducks in a row, getting some players in, and you know really building from there. But I was looking for for a good reaction in the second half. I thought I got that. We wanted the intensity to be a lot better. We did that. I thought that we were a little bit better in the, in the counter press moments in the second half. And the transition moments were a little bit better as well. So I thought that there were some positives, but not a lot. We wanted to create a lot more opportunities. We didn't. We really didn't create anything today. And the Harbour View were brilliant. Um, going forward, you know, I thought that they were a little bit ragged in the back. We could have could have capitalised somewhat, but they were absolutely brilliant going forward. Um, you know, the combination plays, you know, opening up us, you know, really opened us up. And I thought that, you know, at the end of the day, it was was well done to us in the second period not to have con um, conceded again. All right, Fanny, go well. Good finish to the game. And we'll, we'll continue to track Limehouse's progress as you go on in the Premier League. All we'll, the best. We'll absolutely get better. Thank you. Fanny Clark there taking over the reins at Lime Hall in his third match. And he'll be looking for improved performances, as he said. And improved performance is exactly what Lord Bernard got today from his Harbourview charges. And, well, congrats on your first win of the season. <laughs> oh, ironic. Yes, we, we are grateful for the win today, definitely. The first half, excellent. You took your foot off the gas in the second half. Why? No, I wouldn't say we took a foot off. We knew the game was going to be characterised by the... The, the weather elements, the breeze probably played a factor. But the longer the game went, then you could say we took a foot off, we got a bit complacent, you know? And um, probably ruin the fact that we would have allowed Limehall one and two look in, and the fact that on the other end of the pitch, we weren't clinical enough and good with our decision making. Lots of chances, Shaquille Bradford, even though he got a goal, there were many opportunities for That's him. Another, another, on another night, he would have scored those goals. But tell me about defensively, the fact that you would have kept a clean sheet, that must be very pleasing because you have seen so far this season how many lapses in concentration yeah. your team have suffered. Well, as I said to you before, you know, the emphasis of the last 10, 12 days has been on defence. And even when we were free up, I'm still rooting the guys to be in their position, to be working for every single ball. And that's not going to stop for now. Good because we're pretty confident that we can score goals. And the confidence seems to be high up front, especially with Shaquille Bradford, who has six. Well, congrats on the win. Big yes. three points for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm sure you'll be hoping to continue your move up the table. Yes, advance is a must. Thanks. Yep.